Hello and welcome, this is Dernan playing Minecraft on the Hippocraft server. Starting this episode by the mob farm, testing it out, making sure it's still doing just fine. And as the sun goes down, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be taken care of. There we go. So today's episode, I thought we would head to the end and get um, ender farm, ender men farm, ender pearl farm, some sort of farm going in the server. And so that requires a lot of blocks. I've got some blocks. I've got a water bucket to get down close to bottom of the end world. And then some dirt blocks to pillar down and I'll put a bunch of stuff in a chest in case I fall off because I don't want to lose my stuff and yeah so I'll meet you in the end and this is the room where you come out in the end up there is how you get to where the dragon fight is slash was and this there's a chest that I'm going to dump a bunch of stuff in that I don't want to lose. Um, I guess I don't need that or that. I'll keep pick because I have some food. And here is a long pathway that I built. So we'll go ahead and Gary, see, we are at Y level 49. This comes out, and I just built out a long, long ways. Because I'm hoping that with this all lit up, eventually we'll get out here and the Enderman. I mean, I don't see any up there. Zoom in with Optifine. But I'm guessing they're outside of Render. So there might be some there, but they're not really there. This is far enough, quote unquote. This is the the scary part of doing this part is that you just sort of fall down with the water. And as it's going, you just place this stuff and hope that you can read this well enough to not fall out of the water. And out of the end. But the farther we go down, the better. So I'm gonna go down to there at this point, and we'll look down at it and see what it is that I'm trying to do. We come up, we fall through, and that's why we're just taking our time with this. Right, back up here. So if we hold crouch, then we won't fall off, but you can look down and you see that way down there, eventually the water just sort of stops. And that's where it stops at Y level zero. And the closer we can get to zero, the better this farm is going to be. But I don't want people to have to take the water elevator down to get all the way there. So eventually I'm going to build stairs starting at some point that go down that are very secure and so no one has fear of falling out into the void because all that is just void there's nothingness all right let's get a little platform set up down there and i'll bring you back so i am back by the mob farm because this is the last place i slept because i fell out of the world i uh, got a little greedy and went down to Y level 15 and put down some, uh, like a platform and then was like, I can get lower than this. So I went down to Y level 3 and I was like, okay, this is close enough. And evidently that was too close because that was where I died. 
So, we are going to head back there with some blocks and go down again and see if I can't put blocks down at Y level 3 since I've already lost all that stuff and lost all those levels. Didn't have a whole lot of levels and I had stored most of the stuff in there but that now means that I don't have a silk touch pick which will make harvesting glass harder but I have another pick with diamond level and I have my sword still Oh, and I lost all my armor. I had forgotten about armor. We've made it back to the waterfall, and we'll head down. And we can see this dirt is indeed at Y level 15. So I could build the base up here, which would then leave storage for underneath. But that still requires there to be something out here. Oh. oh, okay, got it. Okay. So, I don't have any torches. So I think I will build the farm at Y level 15. And have some storage available underneath it. And that's where that'll be down there. Or at least I can build up from down there. So, I need to go get some torches. And then I will build out this direction. I know it's all just darkness, but that is... There's the island. So I was pointed away from the island. And I'll go two stacks of these things away before I even start building the base, and yeah, before I do that, I think I'm going to, hmm, should I go out two stacks? Yeah, I'll go out two stacks, and then I'll build the staircase back up. So for this first part, I'm going to have to use the water to get back up and down once I get those torches. Because I want to light it up so that I don't uh, mess stuff up and get Endermen to spawn. Because that would be bad. And before I head back out there, it is should be known that anything on this obsidian is going to get erased if you build on it. Uh, that's why I put the chest over here. It gets erased every time something comes through that end portal. And so if you the chest on here, and then if I had come back through, the chest would have been gone. That's why I built out one and digging out this tunnel, or this uh, little alcove. And that is two full stacks of cobblestone away from the water, which is a ways away from the island, and I mean the island hasn't even rendered in yet. Granted, we only have 10 chunks chunks of loading in, but it still isn't loading in, which means, all right, once you get back to, to the water pillar, it starts to load in, but that is definitely going to be far enough away for Enderman not to spawn on stuff. I'm just going to come down here and... Get rid of this, and put a torch down, so no Enderman won't spawn on that. Yes, well aware that I was going to die, but worth it. Okay, back up we go. This is much easier with water breathing. Nice trick is getting on the edge of the water to go up. Back on dry land. Okay, so I'm gonna take. Nope, I can't take the water out yet. Mainly because I don't have a bucket. And way out there is the end of the platform. So I'll come back several and then start a walkway up to this. 
once I get a bucket. Alright, I'm gonna go prepare some more stuff and then I'll start working on this spawner. Okay, so I didn't plan this, but the chunk border for this long cobblestone path is just happens to be at the corner of a chunk. So that means I think I'm gonna build out a few more and then I'm gonna go that way. So I'll have the farm be facing this way just because it's easier that way with chunk loading and such. So that means from here I'm gonna go back a chunk to here and that's where I'll start the stairs. And I'll just move the stairs this way. And... Oh, that was scary. I'll just do this a little bit. Alright, so I'll build these stairs back up to that height of Y level 49. And then I'll be right back. I have built the staircase up. I moved over one to stay within the chunk, and then did a little staircase on up all the way to here, and then did three wide until I remembered I'm going to run out of blocks, and then just did one wide all the way back to where the water is. So now I can go and get a bucket and some more stone bricks and continue this pathway so then it's safe to remove the water. I was able to work out a design for the Enderman farm and it is loud. So I'm gonna, before going in there, change... Not that, not that. Hostile creatures off. Just so it doesn't kill everybody. And then I've already... I mean, you can see that they're already doing entity cramming in here because there's so many of them in here. And this is a looting sword, but it's not a sweeping edge sword. So it's going to take a while. But should take care of all of these guys. There's lots of swiping. one he's gone okay so a nice thing is that when you're up here you're too close to be spawning things on the other side so we will go check out a few things in creative mode i put leaf blocks all over things and i'll have to figure out why these guys are teleporting to there but there is the spawn pad they spawn here, they rush up here, they really want to get to this Endermite that's in a minecart, but they can't. And... Huh. So they can teleport to over here, so I need to fix that. But then they fall down because the trapdoor thing, where they think they can get to the trapdoor, or get through the trapdoor to it, but they can't, they fall down. They are standing on carpet, that's on hoppers. The hoppers lead along this chain over to here to this chest that has some ender pearls in it. And that guy's scary. I'm thinking this part will all be open because underneath here are three stacks of carpet. But then I need to make all of this too tall so that this guy, who I'm just gonna just kind of go there. There you go. Those people, even if they teleport here, they can't because it's only too high. And so that you're safe from that. And then I think on top I'm going to put water because they also can't teleport into water. They die. So that those leaf blocks will be there to stop the water. Huh. 
So, as you can see, they've already put back in there, and there is lots and lots of ender pearls that are coming through. So, I don't have to worry about ender pearls anymore. This is where I'm going to end this episode. I will work on creating a tunnel that's either got a bunch of carpet on top that they can't teleport to, or has a bunch of water that they can't teleport to. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna go about doing that, but I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, this has been Dernan, playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm.